I don't know why these repairmen even give you an estimated time. They should just tell you to quit your job and stock up on canned goods. <laughs> We're gonna miss the movie. Let's hope he gets here before they release it on video. <laughs> well, it's about time. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, sorry I'm late. You're late? Oh, uh, I did. I didn't even notice. Ethan. Susan. So you got a problem with your faucet? Right. Yes. Uh, um, my faucet right over there above the sink. That's where they normally are. Hello. I'm the older sister. Hey. Um, Nana, I think that maybe we should... Skip the movie. Yeah. I mean, what if Ethan needs someone to hand him a tool? We should be there for him. We? I'm not going anywhere. Looks like you're wearing it. <laughs> Would you like me to put that in the dryer for you? Oh, no, that's okay. I got a spare. <sighs> anyway, you've got a loose strainer sleeve and your tailpiece is in pretty bad shape. Really? <laughs> Never had any complaints before. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it may need a little attention. You are some perceptive plumber. Actually, I'm an actor. I, uh, I just do this so I can, you know, eat. Oh, you're an actor? Oh, what a coincidence. Susan is a writer. Why is that a coincidence? Work with me. <laughs> so, uh, what do you write? Uh, I do a column for The Gate magazine. Really? I, I'd love to read it sometime. Oh, well, here you go. It's all about being a single woman. And since Susan is single herself, it's very perceptive. <laughs> I don't just write about single women. Right now, I'm doing a piece on pushy sisters. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll just be in the other room. So, you work at a magazine. Okay, I know this is gonna sound like a line, and, well, actually it kind of is, but I'm doing a play right now about a newspaper man. And, uh, that line works for you? Well, I was gonna ask if uh, I could come down to the magazine and observe. You know, it would help me prepare for my part, and it would give me an excuse to see you again. <laughs> Great. Now I won't have to take a hammer to my toilet. <laughs> you go, girl. So, what happened to you? Uh, subway broke down. It was a nightmare. Stuck in a dark tunnel, 50 feet underground. I started hyperventilating. My pulse was racing. I almost passed out. Well, that's horrible. How long were you trapped under? 43 seconds. I'm surprised you didn't eat your own flesh. Well, it sounds to me like claustrophobia. Not claustrophobia. It, it's, it's just an intense fear of everything closing in on you. It's my mistake. Eh? Did, did, did the room get smaller over the weekend? Yes, it did. You know, I, I think I'm just going to take a little walk in those tight clothes? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Come on, Margo. Now, the sooner we wrap this up, the sooner we sign the divorce papers. Can't we just be reasonable? No! No way! That diving board is mine! <laughs> I'll iron on it. So I'll learn to iron. Margo, don't you hate? God! What can I do for you? Article. 
Thanks. Care for some unsolicited advice? No. Let the diving board go. I speak from experience. During my divorce, we almost got into a fist fight over a water pick. I didn't know you were divorced. Well, there's a lot you don't know about me. So, who got the water pick? Oh, I did. And with the additional legal fees, my attorney bought a boat. <laughs> Jack. Oh, hi, Maddie. Susan, hi. Ooh, nice pants. Thanks. Great color. They make your feet look smaller. <laughs> what can I do for you? Help me stuff her in the shredder. Good to see you two getting along. Jack, I need a favor. An actor friend of mine is doing research for a play, and I was wondering if he could come in today and observe. Actor friend? Well, he's actually my handyman. Is that what you kids are calling it these days? It's not like that, Jack. I'm just doing him a favor. So what do you say? Can Ethan come in today? No. Why not? Because this is a place of business. It is not a workshop for actor handymen named Ethan. Susan. Ethan. Ethan? <laughs> Ethan, I would like you to meet Jack Richmond, our editor, and one of the nicest men in the whole world. <laughs> Welcome to the gate, Ethan. Thanks, Jack. I'm really looking forward to watching you in action today. Sounds great. <laughs> Walk with me. Right back. Nice kid. Yeah? Keep him away from me. <laughs> oh, Vicky, Louise, this is Ethan. He's going to be observing us today. Well. <laughs> Isn't this kismet? I was just telling Louise I want to be observed today. <laughs> oh, were you? Wait a minute. You're the friendly teller from the Golden Gate Bank commercial. <laughs> oh, my God. You saw that? No, no, you're fantastic. <laughs> Your money is safe with me. <laughs> Don't look, you friendly teller. Your money is safe with me. That's right, Todd. Another person to suck all the air out of this ever-shrinking room. Hi, Vicky. There's enough air here for everyone. I think I'm just going to take a little walk, though. <laughs> Today was great. Just what I needed to round out my character. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, well, you're a creative guy. I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, I think I just did. Do you want to come in? Oh, yeah. But I really should get going to rehearsal. Oh, you can't be five minutes late. Oh, this would take a lot longer than five minutes. Oh, well, that's encouraging for next time. Mm. Good night. Good night. Auga. <laughs> the curtain's at 8 o'clock, right? Okay, we'll all be there. Yeah, and, and break a leg. Okay, bye. So, what's the deal with you and the handyman? Has he cocked your tub yet? <laughs> Vicky, you're such a romantic. Just out of curiosity, how would you have asked if he were, say, a dentist? Has he drilled your molar? <laughs> a lawyer. Has he handled your briefs? <laughs> Dog groomer. Did he fluff your poodle? <laughs> All right, you clearly have a gift. <laughs> but the answer is no. Why not? I don't know, Vicky. I mean, you know, he's cute and he's sexy and that's about it. I'm sorry, I'm not hearing a problem. The problem is, it's just physical. Sometimes it's like you're speaking Chinese. <laughs> I'm just trying to justify being superficial and shallow. Oh, well, as the queen of superficial and shallow, I grant you permission. What did you say this play is about again? It's loosely based on Citizen Kane. Oh, yes, the Orson Welles classic. When I saw it in uh, Cuba, it was retitled The Capitalist Swine Who Couldn't Find His Sled. <laughs> kind of ruined the surprise ending. Boy, Todd, this sure is a tiny theater. Door closes shut. Oh, do you feel that pressure change? That means it's airtight. Help me? Vicky, don't make me come back there. I am Charles Ponte Cain. People fear me. I am hated. This is my 
Darn! Darn! I have no idea what they just said. He's probably just a little nervous. I'm going in a small town. What? What? I think he said something about a mall. Hey, how am I supposed to impress you with my work ethic if you stay here later than I do? Don't worry, I'm not working. So this is what you do for fun? Actually, I'm signing the divorce papers. Oh, so it's final. Yep, 12 years of my life gone. Just like that. And you never know until a moment like this exactly how it's gonna feel. Well, dotting the eyes with a little smiley face was a nice touch. Well, you know, I want it to look pretty when I frame it. <laughs> this calls for a drink. Oh, thanks, Maddie, but uh, I really don't want to go out to a bar. Oh, we don't have to go anywhere. What's your pleasure? You got a bar in your office? Well, just the bare essentials. I don't have the tiny little umbrellas or anything. <laughs> okay, um... Scotch on the rocks with a plastic sword. Green or red? Surprise me. Call these headlines! Give me a war! Never mind, I'll do it myself! Yeah, um, I gotta get out of here. With the claustrophobia again? Yeah, walls closing in, getting dark. Whatever. <laughs> Where are you going? Sweetheart, at my age, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Mr. Kane. Thank God, another actor. <laughs> Mr. Kane. Not now, Emma. Get out, Emma. Get out! Lucky Emma. <laughs> Even though we both knew it was over, we just kept trying to make it work. I know. We did the same thing. How long were you guys married? Week and a half. <laughs> Poor baby. You gave that man the best minutes of your life. Yeah, I did. Uh, I don't know if I'm cut out for this whole lifetime commitment till death do us part thing. Well, who is? Monogamy was a shaky idea when the life expectancy was 40. It's cruel and unusual punishment now. I bet you were real popular in college. You have no idea. <laughs> you know what, it's getting light, I should go. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Maddie. This is just what I needed. My pleasure. I just wanted to see what that felt like. Good night. Well, that was, um... What, uh, painful? <laughs> Excruciating? <laughs> Torturous beyond belief? Louise, please. You're being kind. <laughs> what am I gonna say to him? Look, after something like that, there's only one thing you can say. Hi, guys. You bastard! Come here! <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. Come here, you bastard! <laughs> yeah, what they said! <laughs> Listen, I was hoping we could all go out and celebrate, but we have to work out some lighting problems. So, uh, lunch tomorrow? You bet. <laughs> Great, I can't wait to hear what you thought. <laughs> Can you get through an entire meal saying you bastard over and over again? <laughs> sure, at our house it's called Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, acting like all art is subjective. So we didn't like his performance. That doesn't mean he's bad. From the Chronicle. In the role of Charles Foster Kane, Ethan Clark was bad. <laughs> very, very bad. <laughs> Well, that's just one critic's opinion. From the examiner. The acting of Ethan Clark should be dissected and studied the way we study a disease so that we can kill it before it spreads. <laughs> okay, so the guy's a box. But when I picture him naked, somehow that doesn't seem quite so important. <laughs> the question is, if I lie to him just to get him into bed, will I hate myself afterwards? I don't know, but if you do lie, there's a very good chance you'll have to sit through that play again. <laughs> okay, the locks gets the truth. <laughs> Jack, I just thought I'd let you know, um, you made an appearance in my dream last night. 
Really? Yeah, and let me just say, nice work. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. I'm very flattered, but right now, the two of us... Oh, Jack, come on. It was just a dream. Besides, all you did was move my couch. Well, that's the least I could do. In my dream, you unloaded my dishwasher. Jack, what time is the story meeting? I've got a lunch thing. Ooh, actor guy? It's personal. Actor guy. Don't you have an office? Oh, uh, Susan, how was the play? Good. Yeah. Couple of lighting problems, but uh, good. Really? Uh, the Bay Guardian called it Citizen Pain. I'll see you at the meeting. Well, looks like someone's moving on with her life. You might want to think about doing the same with yours. Sweet dreams. Believe me, with the new lighting, you're gonna notice a big difference the next time you see it. Next time? <laughs> anyway, enough about me. I want to hear about you. So what do you think of my performance? <laughs> Ethan, you know how much I like you. And I like you too. And I hope that we can be honest with each other. Oh, no, you hated it. No, 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 I didn't say that. No, but you want to be honest, and that's never good. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I thought that you were... Yeah? Wonderful. Really? Yes. You really did? Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God, because it felt wonderful. I'm sure it did. How oh, so? What's good here? Wait a minute, why did you say you had to be honest? There must have been something you didn't like. Emma. <laughs> I didn't believe her for a minute. I know exactly what you mean. We're cutting her tomorrow. Good, that'll help a lot. Oh, look, quesadillas. <laughs> By the way, I uh, finally had a chance to read your column. Really? Yeah, and uh, since we're being honest, I'd have to say I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> what? It just seemed a little flat and kind of hard to follow. You're kidding. Look, come on, it's just one person's opinion, but since you were so honest with me, I felt I owed it to you. Besides, I am a terrible liar. You're also a terrible actor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. You stink. Okay, I see what's going on here. See, I hurt your feelings, and now you're lashing out at me. No, I'm not lashing out. When I said you were good, I was lying. Oh, Susan, please, you're embarrassing yourself. Me? Hey, huh. And did you see the reviews? It was unanimous. You blow. Wow, this is a really ugly side you're showing. And to be honest, I can't be around all this negative energy. But you really should get some help. I don't need any help. You need help. And an acting coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, what about this, huh? Oh, oh. I'm just like the king. <laughs> well, they do. Well, that's what I get for dating a hunky actor. But on the bright side, I mean, if he's that bad a performer in one area. You really believe that? That's all I've got. <laughs> Todd, you're taking the elevator? Oh, yes, didn't you hear? He's uh, cured. Yeah, I thought claustrophobia was terrifying until I sat through that play. <laughs> now nothing scares me. <laughs> this morning, I ran with some scissors. <laughs> so, Todd, being in this small, enclosed box doesn't bother you at all? Nope. Oh, okay. How about now? <laughs> Vicky. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Vicky, that's not funny. I'm not kidding. It's stuck. Here, let me try. Uh-oh. OK. So uh, we're stuck in the elevator on a Friday, <laughs> the holiday weekend. OK. Worst case scenario, the cable snaps and we plummet to our death. Best case scenario, we spend the weekend knee deep in our own waste. Oh, God, help me. <laughs> Isn't this a delicious slice of irony? Oh, get away from me! All of you! Yeah, where would you like us to go? Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. Close your eyes and focus on something. What, what, focus on what? Uh, uh, the, the music, the music, yes. You're not in an elevator. You are in an open space. Wide open. Uh-oh. What? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Think, think music in open spaces. Come on, guys, help me.
stepping out with my baby Can't be wrong to feel so right It's for sure, not for maybe That I'm all dressed up tonight Stepping out with my honey Can't be bad to feel so good I never felt quite so sunny That I keep on knocking wood There'll be smooth sailing Cause I'm trimming my sails With my top hat and my white tie and my tail Stepping out with my baby Can't go wrong cause I'm in right Ask me when will that day be The big day may be tonight Dance! There'll be smooth sailing cause I'm trimming my sails With my top hat and my white tie and my tails Stepping out with my baby Can't go wrong cause I'm in right Ask me when will that day be The big day may be We're moving. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we're not moving. Uh-oh. Now what? You hear that? I don't want to scare anybody, but I think it's Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Sweet mother, no one close your eyes. Daniel, look, on Baywatch, I don't believe it. Oh, honey, those aren't real. <laughs> Not her, the lifeguard. Watch out for that beach ball! <laughs> what? What? I think he's still talking about the mall. <laughs> 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 